So when you're learning how to manipulate things in the coordinate plane, uh, shapes, you know, you'll typically, you can translate them, you can rotate them. One thing you can do, it's called a dilation. And what a dilation is, is it really just sounds like the word that's kind of used every day. To dilate something is to change its size, but not its shape. So the key to dilation is that this triangle, let's say we're going to dilate this triangle. One thing is that these angles would remain the same. So it's exactly proportional. It would just get larger or smaller. Dilations can also get smaller. And really, the way you know is it's by its scale factor. So if I were to dilate something by a large scale factor, like 2, 3, or 10, it would get much bigger. If I were to dilate something by a scale factor that was small, like 1 half or 1 fifth or 1 tenth, it would shrink, right? And so that's pretty straightforward. So if I took this triangle and somebody said, hey, let's dilate this triangle by a scale factor of 2, it might come out looking something like this. Right, it would just get bigger, right? Or if I said, let's dilate this by a scale factor of one half or even one tenth, it would just get smaller, right? It would just shrink down to something like this. So the key is this this whole concept of getting bigger, getting smaller by a scale factor, there's a, there's a definite rule, there's a definite cutoff. And when you know your scale factor, by just glancing at the scale factor, you should know if it gets bigger or smaller, okay? And so here's the rule. So if your scale factor, whatever we're dilating something by is greater than one, then your shape will expand, it'll grow, it'll get bigger, right? And if your scale factor is less than one, it will um, shrink, it'll reduce in size. And so that sounds easy at first, you're thinking, well, that's a no-brainer, I can just glance at it. No, which is true, but let's do a couple. So what if I said dilate something by a scale factor of two, right? You'd say, okay, well, that's easy. Obviously, I know that's bigger than one, so it grows, right? Okay, let's say I let's say I dilate something by a scale factor of one third, and you would say, well, that's really easy. That that's less than one. One third is less than one, so it reduces. So this would get smaller, right? It would shrink. What about you know if I got weird? What about okay? Let's test this rule. What if we said, what if the scale factor is one point zero 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 one, right? And you're thinking, well, I don't know. That's pretty close to one does not matter this in fact is larger than one not by much but it's larger than one so yes this does expand and agreed it doesn't expand by much it grows uh, but it does grow same thing for smaller you could say something like this 99 over 100 is that greater than or less than one that is less than one even though it's barely less than one so this does get smaller so that's the rule, and if you stick to the rule, it's easy. And if, you're, if your scale factor was exactly one, well then it doesn't change size at all, which makes sense. You're multiplying it by itself, one, it just stays exactly the same, no dilation. So that's the scale factor, and that's the rule there. Now let's do one, and the cool thing is, is to do dilations, you don't really even need to draw the coordinate plane, draw the picture. If you're given the points, you can multiply each point by the scale factor to find the new point. So let's do one example, like let's say we had a triangle. Okay, so here's a good example. So let's say we had a triangle ABC with the points A, B, and C, and they gave us the points 2, 4, you know, whatever, 3, 5, 4, 7, and they say find the new points of the new triangle formed when you have a dilation with a scale factor of 2. And literally you're going to think this is could a dream come true because it's so easy how could it be so easy but it in fact is the new points you you literally multiply every single xy xy and xy by the scale factor of two to get your new <laughs> final points right so your new a prime that's kind of what we designate as the new a after the dilation would be times two all it is is four comma eight i did two times two and four times two b prime let's make this four a little better b prime would be multiply both guys by two so that'd be six comma ten and then c prime the new c for the new triangle after the dilation would be times two times two so that would be eight comma fourteen so a lot of kids love doing dilations because they're so easy all you do is you find the scale factor and literally multiply it through by every single piece to find your new points and that then if you were to graph it, if this was graphed on the coordinate plane, you would find these algebraically or mathematically and then graph these. And what you'd see is something roughly like this. You'd have an original triangle and now you'd have this new triangle that's been dilated by a scale factor of two. And that's the scale factors um, and how you deal with them in dilations. They're pretty cool. I think you guys will ace this section. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and good luck.